hi guys welcome to my channel in today's video i am going to share with you how to crochet this 3d ball with single crochet and chain stitches you can use this ball in number of your crochet decoration here i am going to use this balls for along with lights to use as a hanging lamp so here i made two parts two crochet dollies separately and at the end stitch them together and and did the stash to my work to get this 3d shape of this crochet ball so let's see how we are going to crochet this 3d balls so to make this here i am going to use size 10 cotton thread from this brand and for this cotton thread i am going to use crochet hook of size 1.5 mm you will need one balloon this is 9 inch or 22 centimeter in size A stitch marker one tweezer needle and scissor so take your thread and make a ring here i'm going to use a magic ring so once you have a ring we are going to work on that ring you make chain three This chain 3 is going to count as our first double crochet stitch. After chain 3, make chain 1. Then work into that ring, make 1 double crochet. Then make chain 1. Then 1 double crochet into that ring. Chain 1. Like this, repeat these stitches, make 1 double crochet, chain 1, 1 double crochet and chain 1. So at the end of round number 1, you will have 12 double crochet stitches and 12 chain 1 space. So after 12 double crochet stitches and 12 chain 1 space, now what you have to do, take the balloon and place this inside that ring here. like this now just pull this loose end of the ring to close do not pull this thread too tight just give this space now take your hook on top of a starting chain 3 and top of that make one sing slip stitch to complete around number one now we are going to make this center chain loops so what you have to do in round number two make chain one then make chain 20 so after chain 20 now take your hook into the very starting chain of chain 20 here and make one slip stitch to form a loop like this we made one loop now take your hook in the chain one space here we are going to make one single crochet and secure this loose end of the ring by working on that stitches So one single crochet, make chain 20. After chain 20, again come to the very first chain here and make one slip stitch. So we made our second loop now take your hook on top of next double crochet here and make one single crochet then chain 20 
so after chain 20 again come to the very first chain stitch and here make one slip stitch so we made our third loop now take a hook into the next chain one space and make one single crochet like this you need to repeat this stitches after one single crochet make chain 20 then make one slip stitch on very first chain to form a loop then work on next chain one space make one single crochet then again make a loop of chain 20 then work on top of next double crochet make one single crochet like this repeat this stitches and work till your very last chain one space so at the end of round number two you will have total 24 chain 20 loops and 24 single crochet stitches so once you done with your last chain 20 loop take your hook into the next chain space here and make one slip stitch so our round number 2 is done and we have 24 chain 20 loops just count it before we start round number 3 so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 and 24 now to start round number 3 we are going to come to the top of this chain 20 loop so here what you have to do work in next chain 10 stitches of this chain 20 and make one one slip, slip stitches so take your hook into the first chain here make one slip stitch then into the work into the next chain chain stitch make one slip stitch two three like this make total 10 slip stitches So after 10 slip stitches we come to the center now in next stitch again make one slip stitch now from here we are going to start our round number three now make chain one then chain five after chain five now take the second loop this chain 20 loop take your hook into the center of that loop and make one single crochet then make chain 5 then take the third loop this take your hook into the center of that loop and here make one single crochet chain 5 so like this we need to repeat this stitches after chain 5 take the next loop and work into the center of that loop and make one single crochet then chain 5 then work into the next chain 20 loop by that we connect these loops with chain 5 spaces and repeat and work till your last chain 20 loop so i worked this chain 5 space and on top of each loop now when you work on your last chain 20 loop so after single crochet make chain 2 now grab the thread and take your hook on top of very first chain here grab and pull the thread 
Now grab the thread, pull from first loop. Now you have three loop on your hook. Now grab the thread, pull from first two loop. Then next two loop. So by that we make this chain five loop and we come to the center. So our round number three is done. Now in round number four, make chain one. Then make chain five. After chain 5, now work in the next chain 5 space. Take your hook into the center, make one single crochet, then chain 5, then work in next chain 5 space, make one single crochet, chain 5, work in next chain 5 space, work into the center and make one single crochet chain 5 so in round number 4 we are going to repeat this stitches after chain 5 work in next chain 5 space make one single crochet chain 5 then work in next chain 5 space make one single crochet then chain 5 like this repeat this stitches and work till your last chain 5 space and complete round number 4 so I worked chain 5 and 1 single crochet and reached to the last chain 5 space. So when you reach to the last chain, chain 5 space, after 1 single crochet, make chain 2. Now grab the thread, take your hook on top of very first chain of this chain 5. Grab and pull the thread. Now you have 3 loop on your hook. Grab the thread, pull from first loop. Now you have three loop on your hook. Grab the thread, pull from next two loop, then last two loop. So like this, we again make this chain five loop, and a round number four is done. Now in round number five, make chain one, make chain six. I'm going to place the marker here. So after chain 6 work in next chain 5 space here make one single crochet then chain 6 then work in next chain 5 space and at the center make one single crochet then chain 6 work in next chain 5 space make one single crochet then chain 6 so in round number 5 we are going to repeat this stitches make chain 6 then 1 single crochet in next chain 5 space then chain 6 1 single crochet in next chain 5 space then chain 6 like this repeat this stitches and work till your last chain 5 space and complete round number 5 so I made my chain 6 loops and single crochet and when you reach to the last chain 5 loop here what you have to do make chain 3 so after chain 3 grab the thread take your hook into the very first chain here grab and pull the thread now grab the thread pull from first loop then next two loop then last two loop so again we made this chain six structure and round number five is done now in round number six make chain one then make chain seven after chain seven take your hook in next chain six space make one single crochet then make chain seven After chain 7, take your hook in next chain 6 space, make one single crochet, then chain 7, after chain 7, take your hook in next chain 6 space, make one single crochet, then chain 7, 
so in round number six you are going to repeat this stitches main make chain seven then one single crochet next chain six space then chain seven one single crochet next chain six space then one chain seven like this repeat this stitches and walk till your last chain six space and complete round number six when you worked on your last chain six loop one single crochet then make chain three in crafty thread take your hook on top of very first chain here grab and pull the thread pull from first loop then next two loop then last two loop so like this we made again this chain seven loop round number six is done now in round number seven make chain one then make chain eight after chain eight work in next chain seven space make one single crochet then chain eight and work in next chain seven space make one single crochet like this repeat this stitches make chain eight one single crochet then chain eight one single crochet and walk till your last stitch and when you reach to the last chain seven space again make chain three and top of very first chain of this chain eight make one extended double crochet like how we made in previous round and complete so once you're done with the round number eight cut and secure the thread so you meet the first part of this ball so i already made one and this is my second part so now you just need to repeat from round number one to round number six and meet second part it was my sixth round and on seventh round we are going to connect these two parts together on the seventh round of second part make chain four after chain four i'm going to place the marker here so i get to know this is the starting so after chain four now take the first circle this one so both the opposite side facing each other now take your hook on top of any chain eight loop now make one slip stitch then chain four then take the second circle here and work on next chain seven space and make one single crochet you can see we got this structure then chain four then take the first part work on this chain eight space and make one slip stitch then chain four then work to the next chain seven space of the second part make one single crochet chain four work to the first part in next chain eight space make one slip stitch chain four then work in next chain seven space of second part make one single crochet so like this you can see we have connected these two parts and we got this structure here you can see now just repeat this stitches make chain four take the first part work in next chain it loop at the center of that chain loop make one slip stitch then chain four then take the second part work in this chain seven space make one single crochet like this repeat this stitches and work in each 
chain loop from both the parts and complete and join this two parts together and work till your last this last chain 8 and chain 7 loop so i will finish this circle now we come to the starting so top of this join where we made one extended double crochet here you can see top of that we are going to make one slip stitch now just pull this thread cut and secure this thread so you can see we have two round shape one and two and at the center we have balloon so we are going to give the shape, round shape to this dollies by filling the air to the balloon so just fill the required amount of air uh, which give the round shape so i fill the air and you can see we get this round shape now what i'm going to start this dolly for that i'm going to use this liquid starch so what you have to do just take the liquid starch and just mix a little fabric glue to that starch and i'm going to starch it Uh, let it dry for one or two days then i will show you how to remove this balloon once you remove the balloon you will get the structure like this so it get dry now i will show you how to remove this balloon from our work this 3d crochet ball is done I hope you have learned from this video. If you have any questions or query, please do let me know in the comment section. So see you in my next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.